imagine living your whole life walking on disease-infested soil without a pair of shoes to protect your feet, or never being able to attend a day of school just because you don't own a pair of shoes. Many people here probably don't have to deal with it, but there's many people also in this world that live through this every day of their lives. A few years ago, I purchased my first pair of Toms, and at the time, I didn't exactly know what they did to help others, but as I ended up purchasing more pairs over the years, I started to research more about them. Um, Blake Rakowski is the inventor of Toms, and I began to appreciate everything he's done. And in my audience analysis, I realized that not many of you know exactly what the one for one movement of Toms is, but you have heard of them, but you don't own a pair either. Um, not everyone is as fortunate as we are in this world, but Tom's helps out with that because for every pair purchased in the United States, they give a pair to a child that is in need of shoes somewhere else in the world. People in other countries contract deadly diseases like this one, mossy foot, every day from walking on silica-rich soil <laughs> and they don't have shoes to protect them from this. So Tom's can help out by giving them a pair of shoes which makes them less likely to receive this disease. This causes their feet to swell and causes other health, health complica complications. And also some children aren't allowed to attend school because they don't own a pair of shoes. Today I will provi provide you with information about Tom's, their one for one movement, and how it was started. First let me tell you about the history and how it got started. According to Success Magazine, Blake traveled to Argentina during the second season of The Amazing Race, which he participated in. And then in 2006, he later traveled back to learn to play polo on a vacation. While he was in Argentina, he realizes the poor living conditions and all the farmers that have to walk around with no shoes. The farmers that are fortunate enough to own shoes have a simple style of shoe that he thinks is kind of cool and hasn't seen yet in the United States. So he has an idea to create a shoe company and bring this style back to the United States. And then seeing all the poor children without the shoes and all the health problems they have because of that, he decides that for every pair he will sell, he will give a pair of shoes to all these children that, children that need them. He wanted to start a company that would be long-lasting even after he was gone and would help out people. Now that you kind of know some about the history of Tom's, there's still a lot more to know. In an interview with Tree Hugger Radio, Blake McCoskey said that Tom's are different from other shoes because for every pair of shoes that we sell, we also give a pair away to a child in need that doesn't have shoes. Mikoski uses his knowledge and background with entrepreneurship and business to create Tom's because before he created this, he had started five other businesses, but he got burned out on them, so he thought this would be something fun to start. Tom's gives in many ways. They first like to identify the communities and the countries that are in desperate need of shoes. And then they go around to all the children that need shoes and make sure they measure their feet correctly so they have a pair that fits. They also keep on record everyone that has had a pair of shoes donated to them. So as they grow over time and their feet grow, their shoes also get bigger with them and it lasts them throughout their life. These shoes help with more than just their health, but also the education. Many children cannot attend school because they don't have shoes, so to help with this, Thomas gives them a black canvas slip-on, which has a sturdy sole, which is sturdy enough to play in, but it also is black, so it fits most of the dress code, so then children that have never been able to attend school now can attend school because they have shoes that fit the proper code. These also do not have shoelaces, which is good because then they don't have to learn to tie them, or if they break, they don't have to try to figure out how to afford a new pair of shoelaces. Stated in Texas Monthly, Tom has, Tom's has given away 63,000 pairs of shoes over time, and the majority of the shoes have went to South Africa or Argentina. Shoe drops are organized all over the world so that Tom's and the staff members can really engage in giving the children the shoes and they can see how happy it makes them to receive their first pair of shoes ever. This is a good way for them to actually be able to put those shoes on the child's feet and interact with them. They also realize the importance of their impact and how they're helping because they really get to live in their culture for a while and see how bad it actually is and how much of a difference they're making. Blake spends most of his time traveling around engaging in the different countries and really getting to know the children he's helping out. Once a year, in April, this year it's April 10th, Tom's hosts an annual One Day Without Shoes, which, which like makes people want to walk around without shoes to raise awareness for children that go every day of their lives not owning a pair of shoes. Also, in 2011, Tom's Eyewear was created with a similar approach. For every pair of sunglasses that Tom sells, 
then they donate that back to have sight-saving surgery, medical treatment, or a pair of glasses for someone in need that has a visual impairness. Mikoski realizes that a loss of sight has a great impact on someone's success rate in life. He also realizes that two-thirds of the world's visually impaired are women and children because of this, because if you're going to spend money on saving someone's sight, they would rather do it on a male because that's who's working in their family, which is usually like a farmer or something. So having this donation, it greatly helps out a child because then they can see better and do better in school and have a bit better success rate in life. And the woman, if they're getting this sight-saving surgery, then they're able to go out to work and help earn money for their poverty-stricken family. When designing his shoes, Mikoski looks for cool designs in magazines and stuff, and then he gives the designs to his design team, and they turn it into a shoe. There was many different styles and colors and designs of shoes, and as you can see here, some of the popular styles are the classic canvas slip-ons, the wedges, the bow ties, the wrap boots. They even make tiny toms for even the littlest feet. <laughs> and they, they also make sparkly ones that you can wear to formal events. And they also make vegan styles, which is made of no animal byproducts for everyone. As you can see, they make many different types and styles, so hopefully you can find something that suits you. Because of Tom's being created, not many children without shoes will get to receive their first pair ever. Now that I've told you a little bit about this and all the styles, hopefully next time you're searching for a pair of shoes, you can consider buying a pair of